Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 20th, 2023. Well, yesterday we continued those buying tendencies just racing to the upside, but by the end of the day, we saw a little bit of selling coming in and left maybe some uncertainty that maybe this um, stretched out rally could rest a little bit here soon. What does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. Boy, I tell you, it's not been my morning this morning. I wrote the morning blog, everything was going along as normal, and then I had a power outage. Boom, shut everything down. I lost the morning blog. Uh, so I didn't have time to recreate it, so I'm doing the video this morning. It may be just a little bit longer than normal so that I can fit in um, as many of the earnings as possible here this morning. So bear with me. Um, hope you don't mind. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information um, as to how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see here, extremely bullish market um, as we continue to race to the upside in fact we are very very overextended in the short term here um, I would say extremely overextended and we ended up at the end of the day putting in a little bit of a shooting star pattern here on uh, the diamonds that would suggest maybe a little bit of follow-through to the downside but of course we are in the midst of earnings and earnings create an awful lot of emotion. So we'll want to watch this pretty closely because as you can see, the diamonds is looking to try and gap up this morning, particularly after uh, J&J earnings this morning came in better than expected. So let's keep a close eye on that. Um, if the bulls were to continue to push through to the upside, I would suggest this area up here again is likely going to be the place that we would go to test that upside resistance in the chart. If they were able to push through there, well, my goodness, if we just keep stretching and stretching and stretching and um, going more and more parabolic, it does make me worry quite a bit that when we do stumble, um, the pullback uh, could be substantial. But watch that closely if we can push on through up into there. If the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, I would suggest a pullback into these levels right in here to maybe test some of these um, support areas in the chart. There's not much support there, but you can see we could pull back into this area, which there is a bit more support in the chart now that would be a pretty painful pullback but as stretched out as we are and as far as away as we are from our uh, moving averages here um, it, it wouldn't surprise me all that much either if uh, for some reason we find some uh, stumbling block here in the market. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY also continuing to stretch to the upside not really a shooting star up here, more of a spinning top doji up here at the top, running into maybe a little bit of a problem. And one of the things that uh, was interesting last night is Netflix reported well, but it's fall um, uh, fell a, a bit um, after the market um, last night. And then we had Tesla kind of disappoint. It went down just a little bit last night. So um, keeping an eye on that, IBM missed on earnings. So a little bit of bearishness may be coming into some of the tech sector. So keep an eye on that. That could pull back um, the SPY here just a little bit if the market um, continues to see earnings that just aren't quite meeting expectations. If we um, watch this closely and the bulls find inspiration, then I would suggest that we've got resistance right up in here, right up in that area of the chart. So we could push up into that area of the chart pretty easily up there around 460. And if the bears were to find inspiration here in the market, well, I would suggest maybe coming back down into this little area of price support Again, that would be a rather painful pullback, 
But if that were to break, then um, next support level is right down in here. So watch that close. Again, very extended away from moving averages. A lot of enthusiasm on earnings. A lot of speculation going on in this market. If we take a look at QQQ, QQQ also extremely extended. But as we, as I noted, with a few um, tech disappointments out there, a little bit of selling coming in, possibly a pullback uh, coming in uh, the QQQ here today. But if those bulls were to find something here today to reverse that back to the upside, I would suggest that we might push right back up there and retest that high. You'll notice clear over here, there's that resistance in the chart that's also reflecting that uh, level in the chart. So watch that closely. If the bears were to find inspiration today and continue to push to the downside, you'll notice in this chart there really isn't any uh, major price support because we've just kind of gone straight up. Um, there might be a little teeny tiny. If you look right in here, I've got uh, where this line is. I can kind of connect three candles here in that line so there may be a little bit of price support right in there if the bears find inspiration and continue to push and if they push on through there i think we're coming back down to this price support in the chart if we take a look at our iwm iwm also rallying nicely yesterday a bit of a spinning top up here um, and you can see it's trying to gap higher this morning um, um, in the morning so watch that closely we have a little bit of mix of what is going on here today now my big concern with IWM is we pushed through this downtrend here in the chart and resistance levels notice that we've done it in pretty much a straight up move there's really not been um, any rest in here it's just kind of a straight up rally now when we do that that's that's wonderful as long as when the rest or consolidation comes into place that or the pullback or consolidation comes into place that it holds those support levels in the chart so we'll want to watch that carefully because breaking through is one thing being able to hold it is another and we've seen those patterns a lot here um, in the market where we we will get enthusiasm push on through but then we don't hold now if the bulls were to continue to find inspiration here i would suggest a, re a test of this top right in here to see whether or not we can break through that area you'll notice as i draw this across there's quite a little bit of price resistance in that zone if the bears were to find inspiration i would suggest a pullback in here to retest the the breakout of that downtrend here and if that were to fail possibly coming back down into that little area of price support um and that would get pretty um pretty painful uh, for that pullback. And um, if we were to break through there, I think we would come all the way back to this major area of price support in the chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly enough, yesterday, as we headed into a big day of earnings reports, uh, the VIX rallied while we were continuing to try and stretch out here in the market. It was really right at the end of the day when we caught a little bit of selling, but the VIX was already turned up, um, suggesting that maybe a little bit of overbought situation here in the market was bringing in some fear. So if we find those bulls find inspiration today, notice we're holding this price support area in here, I would expect a push down through there if the bulls um, engage if the bears were to engage today then look for a retest of some of these resistance levels up here in the chart if we take a look at our t2122 well my goodness t2122 is pretty much nailed to the ceiling here one point yesterday we were over 98 in t2122 we are extremely overbought in the short term here and what that means is even if we have some really great results out there earnings wise there's just not a lot of upside energy um, to provide uh, that big bullish move in here that doesn't mean we can't continue to stretch to the upside but we're just kind of running out of buyers here everybody that's going to be in is in 
And if we start to see some selling, well, that's where we open up a really big opportunity that we could move hard uh, to the downside. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we break trend or the markets collapse or anything like that. It just means that we need a little bit of rest from this buying um, frenzy that's been going on in the market. And if that were to begin, you could probably see quite a little bit of selling coming in fast because everyone would be rushing to uh, protect their capital if that move were to occur. And we could see profit taking um, rolling in pretty quickly if the bears do find some reason to press. If we take a look at our T21, well, T2108 continued to extend. This is an extremely bullish chart. No sign of bearishness in this chart just yet, except for the fact that we're reaching up here into very, very frothy zones of T2108, suggesting that a pullback could occur at any time. A very, very overbought condition. And our T2107, T2107 doing the same thing, stretching up here in the market, pushing up there towards 60%. And, and notice that as we reach up into these areas here, 65% um, area, we are very, very overbought. Um, still very bullish. Nothing in here suggests that we're going to turn bearish, just other than the fact that we are in an extreme overbought condition. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 hooking here uh, to the downside. So you can see that there is a little bit of, um, well, uh, momentum may be shifting. And that's really what we're seeing here. Um, our absolute breadth index is showing that potential that we could catch a shift here in that momentum. Now, does that mean the bears really come in strong? I can't say that, but I would say that watch carefully here. Even if we get, uh, we don't pull back hard, we could see that momentum fall apart here just a little bit. We get really soft in the market and maybe um, just get a light resting consolidation, uh, which would be very, very bullish for the, for the market, but might be frustrating um, because um, if we get good earnings reports, we want to just run to the upside, but it might be frustrating for traders. We might not get that response um, if we start to soften up here, just worries of overbought conditions. If we take a look at our economic calendar here for today, well, our economic calendar, we've got a few things here to be paying attention to. Um, our last um, last real uh, market moving reports for the week coming up here this morning, we've got jobless claims here today, and that's been problematic for us. We'll want to watch that closely. They are suggesting in the consensus a little bit of an increase in uh, jobless claims to show some improvement here. Philly Fed is also looking in consensus for a little bit of a, an improvement, but still coming in at a negative 10.3 or something like that is what the consensus is suggesting. That's an improvement from like a negative 13 last quarter, but it continues to show, and we saw this in other um, numbers here this week, that um, our manufacturing sector is still weakening. Um, our industrial production showed that capacity utilization is continuing to decline. So we've got a problem here in manufacturing, um, albeit the market has largely ignored that. We've got existing home sales here today. Consensus is suggesting a decline in um, existing home sales. So keep an eye on those numbers this morning. We've got leading indicators, natural gas, couple bond auctions, and then the Fed balance sheet later on that nobody's gonna pay attention to. And then if we look into Friday, boy, we've got a freebie Friday here. There's uh, a dead day coming in on uh, the calendar on Friday. Not much happening here to provide inspiration. If we take a look at our earnings calendar, and bear with me here, guys, because there's quite a few earnings, and I'm going to run through these really quickly here for today since I can't put them out in the blog. Um, 
we're going to have Alcoa, or excuse me, um, American Airlines uh, report here today. Alcoa was last night. Uh, BMI will be reporting. BX, COF. Let's see if my fingers can continue to uh, keep up with my mouth here. Um, CSX, um, DHI, FITB, FCX, FFIN, DPC, ISRG, JNJ, which um, had a good report this morning, KEY, Reporting, uh, KNX, MMC, NEM, Philip Morris, PPG, OOL, SAP, SNA, ERV, TFC, and WRB. So there's a listing of your notables for today. Kind of keep those in mind. Nothing in there that is uh, nearly as important as the Netflix, Tesla type things, but quite a few reports in there that do have the potential to move us around a little bit. And then keeping in mind Friday, the number of earnings reports um, declines fairly sharply. A um, little bit of rest um, on uh, on Friday, but there are still some notables in there that could move us around. Let's take a look uh, at our um, stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, and that would be click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. So I want to say thanks so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And folks, I I apologize, I'm a little bit disjointed here this morning with um, the snafus that I've had. So hopefully this is coming across as um, a, a viable uh, video this morning. So thank you for all your kind support uh, for the effort. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, I would suggest you need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here. Um, we could be on the cusp of a little bit of rest or pullback in the market. If it does begin to the downside, it could move quickly. So what I would continue to suggest is raise those stop losses or start um, taking some profits in the market in case that pullback occurs. I can tell you I took some nice profits yesterday, took profits the day before that on trades. I am reducing my positions in the market, uh, long positions, expecting some kind of a rest or pullback to occur at any time. That doesn't mean that you have to, and that doesn't mean that I'm right. It means that um, I'm taking extra precaution because of our extended condition that we're seeing here um, in the market. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up, however. Put an alert here on Starbucks yesterday. It ended up triggering that alert, but I didn't take it because once again, a little bit concerned about the overextension here in the market. Starbucks is going to report on 8.1, but this is a nice little higher low pattern. Notice we've got a fairly strong resistance level in the chart just above there but keep an eye on that one of the things we see pretty commonly anymore is that we rally toward earnings there's an awful lot of speculation in this market so um, we get people buying up and heading into earnings like they did on Netflix and Tesla yesterday um, and got a little bit of punishment as a result of that but um, we'll often see rally toward earnings and what i will do sometimes is buy a stock heading into those earnings reports 
and uh, catch that little rally and then close it out before the earnings report occurs. So keep an eye on Starbucks. There may be an opportunity there. One of the things we've been seeing here pretty strong is those ride sharing services doing well. I had a price alert here on Lyft, moved right up through into that, um, that move. Now, don't be too surprised here because we're, our trend is out here. This may be going a little bit early. That's a very, very steep rally and usually cannot be sustained for too terrible long. So don't be too surprised, even though we pop through um, that alert, that this might rest here, continue to consolidate or even pull back, um, trying to find that trend before it continues to extend on up. You also want to keep in mind it's going to report on 8.8, 8, so it does have that potential that it could rally toward those earnings. If you look at Uber, Uber also stretching up here strongly, stretching up toward its earnings report on 8.1. I would say at this point in time, it's a little bit too extended to be thinking about jumping into that move. Maybe a rest or pullback might, uh, might help give us a little bit of opportunity uh, to um, consolidate this rally and then still get some upside by 8.1, but watch that closely. If we take a look at some of the agricultural input stocks, CF, man, oh man, my alert in here on that chart and this thing just took off like a rocket ship ride right up here to the next resistance level of the chart. So what do we do here? Well, we rest. First off, I want you to notice that this is a really nice looking pattern in here. There's your shoulder, there's a head, there's a shoulder. So if we watch CF here, if we get a consolidation in this area and pop through, I'm gonna be interested in that. There's your trend. I'd be watching carefully for something like that. If it goes ahead and pops through, then I'm gonna look for that resting pullback over here, um, proving that that is a support level in the chart, and I'd be looking for that next opportunity in the trend. If we lose a little bit of momentum here and we see this pull back into this trend, then I would be watching to catch some price support right through here and see if those buyers can step up in that chart on CF. Nice looking pattern here overall in CF. And really it's probably going to depend a lot on the US dollar, whether or not some of these um, um, agricultural products, um, commodity prices continue to hold nicely. Yesterday we saw a pretty good pop in the US dollar and then watched it pull back. So watch that carefully this morning. Depending on how that plays out here, that could have major effects on these trades. Now I did take this position in Mosaic and I decided yesterday I had a 25%, better than 25%, profit in this trade in just one day decided you know what i'm just going to take the profit because i expect the market to rest or pull back mosaic here is another very nice looking chart any rest or pull back in here i would look for that opportunity for that to hold the trend look for that next entry into the trade remember it's going to report also on a one take a look at some of the oil sector stocks my goodness oil has been volatile here recently we started up again yesterday we were up over 80 dollars a barrel on brent crude yesterday and then pulled it back to be just below um, $80 a barrel. But taking a look at APA, very nice looking chart. We still have that morning star pattern right in here. Resting now, as I kind of suggested yesterday, that we might rest back toward this trend. It could be a consolidation. It could be a pullback. But keep an eye on these oil sector stocks. There's so many of them that are breaking these downtrends, trying to show that upside opportunity here in the market. Take a look at like EQT. EQT has been running to the upside pulled back, found a little bit of price support in here, bounced right back up. I would say any little rest or consolidation in here might set up that next opportunity to the upside in EQT and follow that trend. So watch that closely. And you can look through a lot of these stocks, you know, ConocoPhillips, um, holding in a nice little support pattern, nice little Morningstar that came up in here, 
watch for that next opportunity for oil and gas to move to the upside. When we speak, uh, talk about gas, um, UNG, UNG is trying in here, um, struggling just a, a, a bit, but natural gas is trying to come up. This is quite a pattern in here. This is what they call a rectangle base pattern um, in the chart. And you can see that we're, uh, whoops, wrong, in wrong tool there um, trying to break this little downtrend if this little downtrend holds in here I'd be looking for that next upside opportunity here in natural gas and if we start to break out of this base then this could become a pretty good chart all at once take a look at TLT here guys and by the way I have a bias on UNG because I am holding that as a starter position for a longer term trade same thing here with TLT I'm looking for those bonds um, to start to change out here and I think we're really at the cusp where we could see a significant change in bonds um, whether it be up or down so we've pushed back up into this downtrend here we've got a little higher low coming into that trade break through that downtrend and hold and I'm going to be looking maybe to uh, pick up quite a few uh, um, uh, TLT uh, positions here for uh, that run to the upside. If bonds become back come back into favor, then I would look for uh, some a big buying wave um, as investors run back into bonds. So watch that closely. Um, if we take a look at some of the other stocks out there, boy, that Carvana had quite a day yesterday, just ripping to the upside on a debt restructure. Now I wouldn't chase that stock. I would look for a little rest or pullback back in here come back into this trend looking for that next opportunity in a trade it's going to report on 83 so you may have to wait on that for just a little while uh, take a look at stocks like us steel this is one that i sold um, took a really nice profit in this trade on us steel and now we're resting back into this support location again this will have quite a bit of dependence on what happens to the dollar but if we look right across here there's a nice little trend setting up in the chart just give me a little consolidation rest in here and I may be back on US Steel here before too long um, unfortunately it's going to report on the 27th and that could change everything dramatically so watch that closely so there's a few stocks to be paying attention to I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day thanks for being here apologize this video is a little bit long because of the snafu on the blog this morning but hopefully it'll load up and everyone will have this soon you guys have an awesome day we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning and i want to wish you all the best